All right, for today, I think I'm going to start with my foundation, with my base. And I do have a kind of a newer product for that. I'm going to be trying the Milk Makeup, what is this called? Sunshine Skin Tint with SPF 30. I saw Samantha Ravendahl use this, and she's my fave. She could make me buy anything. Can't wait for her makeup line to come out. But I wanted to try this because it looked gorgeous when she was using it. And I think it's just like a light coverage. I kind of swatched it on my hand, and it has SPF, which is great. So I decided to try it. I am going to be pairing that with my Rare Beauty Primer, though. So I'm going to take my Rare Beauty Primer. And I have a mirror right here as usual, so if I'm looking off camera, that's why. I do have SPF already underneath. Make sure if you're using like a foundation that has SPF in it, you are going in with an additional layer beforehand because you would have to use a ton of foundation to get proper sun protection from that so just fyi there all right so i'm all primed i'm going to go in with this i did already swatch it so i do know like you just click this thing that has kind of like a roller ball at the top really interesting so you just kind of click it and then you can kind of see i don't know the foundation piling up and then i just rub it on my face not the most sanitary i guess i could have done it on my hand but i'm the only one that's going to be using this and my face is clean. This feels so weird. I haven't filmed in so long. Um, feels really good, but it also feels really strange. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so I do think this is going to be really, really light coverage. So we'll see if we can build it up maybe a little bit more than this, because this is really light. Let's see. Oh yeah, it builds up nicely. Definitely not going to be like a medium to full coverage, but I knew that when I bought it, so. Not all of these products are going to be new, by the way. Some of them are just new to me, and then some of them are just makeup that I use all the time. I don't have like every aspect of my makeup routine as a new. I just wanted to try these products on camera because some of them are exciting to me, and I just wanted to share that. Alright, I think this looks really lovely. Um, I think next time I use it, I might go in with a brush. Actually, let's just try it. Why not? I'm going to use a little bit more on my cheek area. Just to see if I can get a little bit more coverage just on my redness. And I'm going to blend out with a brush. This is just an M Morphe M439 brush. Alright, for concealer, nothing new here. Going in with my Becca Under Eye Corrector. This is the love of my life. And I'm just going to put it where I get dark, which is right underneath the lash line and in the inner corner. And I actually saw someone using this and they were they said not to blend it out fully, which totally makes sense if you're going to put concealer on top because why would you like blend away all the coverage? if you're just going to blend something on top of it anyway. So I'm going to go in with my RMS Beauty Concealer. This is a really nice light coverage, super dewy concealer. So I'm going to pop that on top with my Beauty Blender. I'm going to take that concealer down the center of my face, just to even out the color a little bit. Make sure we're pretty seamless and that I don't have like a really stark difference in my under eye color. This concealer is so nice. You can literally just kind of like put it all over your face and it won't look cakey or anything. I really enjoy the RMS. And I do have a couple spots I do want to cover. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and kind of just dot them. Mostly like in my like neck area. It is that time of the month and my skin is showing that clearly. So I'm just going to dot a few little bumps and go over it with my sponge. I'm not looking to like hide them completely. I just want them to be a little covered since we went more with a light coverage base. All right, moving on. I think I'm going to finish the base completely and then do the eyes. I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling that today. So I'm going to take my Milk Hydro Drip Setting Primer and I'm going to sit all of this. And then I'm going to go in with a powder. So I'm going to let that dry first. All right, now that I am all dewy and shiny with that spray, I'm going to take a little bit of this powder. This is the e.l.f. 
Halo Glow Powder. It's like in the pinky shade and I believe maybe I used this in one of my drugstore videos for 12 Days of Beauty but I think I just like lightly used it and I didn't really form an opinion so I am excited to use it because people do compare it to kind of like the hourglass powders. So I'm going to take it with a little sponge, really pack it in there and I'm just going to set lightly over my entire face. Uh, I don't like to be too matte obviously. But I think this has some luminosity in it, and if it doesn't, I have that setting spray underneath. So I certainly won't be matted out. So I think I'm just going to keep it there. And next product is I have a bronzer, and I'm super excited about this. Where is it? I got a little mini size of the Ambient Lighting Bronzer from Hourglass. This is in the shade diffused bronze light. I just got the mini because these are pricey and I wasn't sure if I was gonna love like the shimmery bronzer effect. So I just want to try it. Isn't it so cute? And the diffused bronze looks like it's more of a cool tone. I have swatched it on my hand and it almost looks like nothing so I'm a little concerned about that. But let's just try it. All right we're getting some bronze. We're definitely seeing a little shift in color here. It's very subtle so far, which is nice. That's what kind of what I expected. Yeah, this is a very subtle shade. This definitely, I don't see this line working out for women of color. Um, honestly, as of most of Hourglass's product, that is another reason why I kind of have a hard time spending like $50 on the full size or something, just because Hourglass is one of those luxury brands that is not inclusive in the slightest and I really wish they would change that because they have some beautiful products and even this product is really stunning and beautiful but I do feel like I have to mention when I use their products that they definitely have a problem in that area. I don't know. I'll have to see like in different lighting if I like it. It's kind of hard to tell with these lights and stuff but I think it looks really pretty. It looks really natural. I definitely love it with this full, um, with this light coverage look. I have to see if it looks good over like a full coverage foundation as well, but so far so good. Next for blush, I maybe couldn't, shouldn't have set my foundation, but I think this will work fine. It is the Too Faced Peach Bloom Color Blossoming Lip and Cheek Tint, and I got the color Peach Glow. They're kind of like a, it's like, looks like jelly, like peach jelly and I'm just gonna I tried this on my hand and it was really sheer so I'm not really scared this I have not been a fan of Too Faced launches in like forever I don't think I've purchased Too Faced product in a really long time but when I saw this I was like ooh, like a cream kind of blush situation and all the colors are so pretty and they do smell like peaches you know Too Faced loves their scents in their makeup um, yeah, really sheer, but really pretty. I don't know if y'all can see. It's, like, adding, like, a little bit of, like, a glow. They are a little sticky, like, tacky, but I don't really mind that. But if you don't like that, then beware. I'm gonna add more. I want to be really peachy and blushy today. And I'm kind of applying it, like, up my temple instead of like on the apple of my cheek. We'll see if it builds up. Oh yeah, definitely getting some more like, it's definitely like a peachy pink. Looking at the website, um, a lot of the colors looked kind of similar to this. They had like a grape that looks a little bit more like a lilac pink, um, but they definitely all were like more pinky natural shades, just with like slight undertones of whatever the shade name is. Oh, that's gorgeous, do you guys see that? That's so pretty. I'm going to turn the lights up a little bit more. Is that better or worse? I don't know. Let me know if you comment below. Let me know if the lighting is good or not in my videos. I've been using a ring light lately. And I don't know if that looks good in combination with the natural lighting. Or if it makes kind of weird shadows. I don't know. But I think that blush looks gorgeous. For highlight, I am going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Royal Icing uh, Diamond Balm. I believe I might have used this in 12 Days of Beauty as well, but like I said, I feel like 
at the end I was kind of just like in a mode of like filming those videos that I don't even remember half of the looks I did so I don't remember like my opinions or anything on some stuff which sounds bad it, like I definitely wasn't like rushing through them but I think I was just like editing filming editing filming that I was like what what did I use so I'm gonna take this and apply it here it's more of like a sparkly highlight and show you it's so pretty there you are um really beautiful color though like fairy dust basically take that down the center of my nose on my lip I might contour my nose a little bit more we'll see all right next I'm going to do brows and I do have a new product for that and that is the got to be uh glued styling gel from Schwarzkopf. Um, this is kind of a trend that I've been seeing on TikTok. I believe this glue was originally used with black women specifically and they would use it like for wigs and like to lay down baby hairs and stuff so I guess some people thought it would be good for eyebrows and I've been seeing people use it. So yeah um, I'm gonna try it and it's supposed to be, like help with that like really fluffy upwards brow. So I'm excited to use it. I think I'm going to fill in my brows lightly beforehand with a pencil, just lightly. I don't want too much of a brow look, but I'm going to use my NYX Micro Brow Pencil, and I'm just going to fill in kind of some sparse areas and then apply that. All right, I just filled them in with the pencil, and now I'm going to take a little bit of this on my hand, just a tiny bit, I think, and I'm just going to take a spoolie and kind of rub it in the glue and I guess just oh by the way that stuff was like five dollars and it's a huge tube so if you're gonna be using it for your eyebrows I feel like that's such a good buy especially right now if you're buying brow gel which I definitely do brow gel is like my favorite way to do my brows so I feel like this could really cut some cost. Alright, for eyes, I am going to be using the Makeup by Mario palettes. I probably will use both. Finally got these. I kind of caved, and I'm really glad I did because they look way better in person um, than I thought they did based on the website. I ordered them online, and I'm really excited about that. So, yeah, this is the shimmery one this is the one i'm most excited to play with for today i believe sorry if i blind to do with the mirror um so to start off i'm going to use my urban decay primer potion just to prime my eyes i am thinking about getting the little makeup by mario eye prime kit that he came out with but i think i just wanted to try the palettes first before I buy anything else. Definitely my next Sephora purchase will probably be the new Rare Beauty collection. I believe it's the Stay Vulnerable collection. It's all like uh like rose pinky shades. Really beautiful. Like they have a liquid eyeshadow, a gloss, and a cream blush that I'm really excited to try. So that'll probably be my next purchase. But we'll see how Makeup by Mario does and see if I'm interested in buying anything else. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do today. I think, I think I'm just going to start with the mattes and then see where it takes me. I don't really know what I'm planning on doing today, but I just want to try them out. So, I'm going to take, these are kind of hard to use on camera because they have this huge mirror. I'm going to take like a combination of this shade in the front row and this shade. So, the second and fourth shade on the top row and blend that in my crease. These are really interesting colors. They're kind of more of like yellow browns, which I really like. Um, they're not exactly like the like gross pukey shade that is always really popular with makeup. I like that shade, it's just like a gross color. But these are more yellow. Um, apparently these colors are inspired by different skin tones. So. The matte one is inspired by like skin tones of all different races and the shimmer one is supposed to be like the colors of the inside of our bodies which is kind of interesting, kind of strange but interesting nonetheless. Alright, I'm going to take the second shade in the second row of the palette 
It's just like a medium to dark, like kind of espresso -y brown, and I'm gonna apply that a little bit tighter in the crease. These are definitely blending out really nicely. If anything, they kind of are a little bit more sheer than I was expecting. Not like super sheer, but they don't have like a huge punch where like you're gonna apply way too much. Yeah, they're blending really nicely together. Like you can kind of see all the shades kind of blended into one. Not in like a super negative way, but oh, I must have had some shimmer on my brush because yeah, I need to clean my brushes, guys. I'm just kind of playing with makeup today, so don't judge this look too harshly. I'm going to take the first shade in the second row, which is kind of more of like a mustardy brown, and apply that in the crease just to deepen it just a little bit. I'm just trying to use like as many shades as I can just to see how I feel about this palette. Oh, that shade is really pretty. It gave me a lot of depth really quickly, which is what I like. All right, moving on to the shimmer shade. I think I'm going to take this color right here. It's kind of like a rose gold meets like a bronzy shade. I'm just going to take it on my finger and start applying it on my lid all over. Oh, that shade is gorgeous. This palette had a lot of negative reviews online, which is kind of why it took me so long to grab it. People said, like, they tried to use the shimmers with, you know, water, with setting spray, with Vaseline, and, like, they couldn't get any pigment. But I'm having, like, no issue at all with my finger picking up, like, tons. So, I don't know. Maybe there's, like, an inconsistency with batches, but mine seems absolutely great. I also saw like reviews though of people saying like they don't understand the bad uh, reviews as well. That's gorgeous. Are you kidding? Do y'all see that? It's like this perfect like rose, kind of like a rosewood color, like rosy bronze. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think I might even kind of leave it there. I'm going to take the lightest champagne color. It's the second row first color. I'm going to pop that in my inner corner. Oh, that's beautiful too. Oh my god. Alright, I think I'm going to kind of leave the top there. I'm just going to kind of want it to be a little bit more messy and natural. And I am going to do winged eyeliner today. I'm going to try out the LA Girl Gel Eyeliner. I have never tried this one. Um, pretty much the only gel eyeliner I think I've ever used is the Maybelline one. That one's amazing. And it's super affordable, obviously. This one was even more affordable, I believe. Let me open the box. All right, so I'm going to use my little Essence $2 angled eyeliner brush. And let's see if I remember how to do gel eyeliner, because I think the last time I did it was in high school. So I might kind of be out of frame for this, but... Alright, that's my best attempt with the gel eyeliner. I kind of really liked that one. Um, it is a little bit more sheer. It's not like inky, inky black, which I remember the Maybelline one being. But this one's very glidey, if that makes sense. It doesn't crumble or like skip at all. So it was really easy. I did have to clean it up just because I'm not the best. And it's been a while since I've used gel eyeliner. But I'm pretty impressed at how well I was able to do. So I'm going to move on to the lower lash line. And I think for that, I'm going to take a shimmer. Kind of be different, you know. And I think I'm just going to take that rose bronze shade that I used on my lid. And I'm just going to... For mascara, I do have a new product. It is the Bite Upswing Mascara. Super excited to try this. I have seen quite a few YouTubers talk about it. And when I see that, I'm always interested to try it myself and see if the hype is real. 
And I saw Alana Davison talked about this specifically, and she usually has the same mascara taste as I do. So I'm really hoping. This feels weird to hold because I'm used to the milk one, and the milk packaging is so heavy, so this feels like it has nothing in it. The brush is kind of like this. It's kind of like an hourglass shape, and let's see. I like it. I don't know if I love it. I feel like it's lacking a little bit in the lengthening department. It does say it's a volume mascara, but the Milk one and the Lancome Monsieur Big one that I really like, they do a lot of volume and they also like feel like they lengthen and curl pretty nicely. I don't really need a curling mascara. My eyelashes pretty much stay up fine. I think I'm going to have to mess around with it. Sometimes mascaras get better like after you open them and let some air in it as well. So I think it looks good. Like I definitely have no complaints. Like I would go out like this. I think my eyelashes look nice and full and big. But I don't know if I love it. I'll have to keep you updated in another video. But I guess all that's left to do is lips. And unfortunately, I have nothing new for lips. I'm sorry. This video is probably such a disappointment because I have nothing new. And, like, there's only a few things. But I was really excited to try those few things. So I just wanted to make a video and kind of play with makeup. I wanted to ease myself back into filming. So I'm going to take this LA Girl um, lip liner in the shade Pinky. Then I'm going to go in with MAC Viva Glam 2. I just wanted it to pull a little bit more pink. That's why I did the lip liner. Alright, and that is my finished look. This video is probably a little all over the place. I just wanted to try some new things. Like I said, I was excited for some of the stuff I got. And overall, I really liked everything new I tried. I have to try to test the mascara out a little bit more. I do like how it looks. I don't hate how my eyelashes look, but it's not like replacing my favorites as of right now. So I'll let you know. Really, really loved the Too Faced blush. I feel like it looks so natural and pretty. Really loved the foundation. I think it's a really nice uh, light coverage foundation, especially if you're looking for something that has SPF in it and you're more of like a natural makeup person. Definitely would recommend the Makeup by Mario palettes. I'm super excited to try those in future videos. I am planning on making like a dedicated video using just the matte one and just the shimmer one just to kind of do like more creative looks. There's a couple looks that he posted on his brand page that I do want to recreate so stay tuned for that. The Hourglass Bronzer I think is really pretty. Um, definitely more of a natural subtle bronzer which is what I was expecting. I think it was a really good shade for me. Like I said it kind of sucks that they lack so much in their shade department though for people of color. So what else what else? LA Girl uh, liner was really nice, and I think that's all. Oh, really loved the brow gel, the Got To Be brow gel. I got mine at Target. It was like four something, four dollars and something, and I think it's like my new favorite brow gel. I love how my eyebrows look, and I haven't been able to find a brow gel that holds them up like this. Um, usually by the time I'm done doing my makeup, they've already like fallen down because I don't trim my brows, so I have a lot of hair. Um, but yeah, I really like how this look turned out. Um, I just kind of wanted to play, do something natural and fun. And yeah, it was really good to be back, really good to film again. Um, I don't know if this is the first video I'll be posting of the year, probably not. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. What are some new makeup finds that you've been loving? And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!